The U.S. drone strike that killed al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri has intensified global scrutiny of Afghanistan's Taliban leaders. Trey Yinks has more from Jerusalem. Justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. President Biden says the operation to take out the head of al-Qaeda was a complete success. Ayman al-Zawahiri was killed in a U.S. drone strike while he was standing on a balcony in Kabul over the weekend, the culmination of years of intelligence gathering and surveillance. Once Zawahiri was located, the operation took months to plan. Officials built a scale model of the safe house and tracked what they call his pattern of life, including his habit of sitting on the balcony. My administration will continue to vigilantly monitor and address threats from al-Qaeda, no matter where they emanate from. But the attack is also raising new questions about the Taliban's rule over Afghanistan. According to a 2020 agreement, the group pledged not to shelter those seeking to attack the U.S., leading to accusations that the country is once again becoming a shelter for international terrorism. I think it's strange to call it a safe harbor when we just took out the leader of al-Qaeda uh, sitting on his balcony in Kabul. Meanwhile, al-Qaeda reportedly has several potential replacements for Zawahri lined up, including his son-in-law. And the U.S. military is bracing for possible retaliation against American targets. One thing al-Qaeda is really good at is recovering and replacing leadership. I'm glad to see him off the battlefield, but this does not take al-Qaeda off the map. The White House said Tuesday it believes there is only a small al-Qaeda presence left in Afghanistan. In Jerusalem, Trey Yankst, Fox News.